Yo, what's up guys? Turn Green Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Elden Ring Let's Play. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first off, uh, you know, I'll put a little update video out, but for those of you that didn't see it, I want to say thank you so much for uh, all of you who have been uh, supportive in the chat while I was out. Uh, unfortunately, I did have a series of unfortunate events, but I'm back and we're ready to uh, dive into Elden Ring, which I'm shocked that you still want to uh, see content from me but hey you've been asking for it here it is so uh i've decided for this playthrough since i usually do uh casters just because of the ease uh for walkthroughs um i think this time i'm going to play a full physical build and you guys normally see me very careful and methodical and i think i'm going to go strength build this time and just play really haphazardly because that's that's something y'all haven't seen from me so uh, anyway, I am going to start with the Samurai, and I know that seems weird, but uh, I want the Bleed Weapon up front uh, just to get a decent start. We'll be replacing it very, very, very quickly, but uh, we are going to start with the Samurai. In my opinion, one of the best starting classes. Y'all all know what the name is going to be. And uh, Keepsake. So, man, there's really only a couple of good Keepsakes. There's a Golden Seed if you want an extra flask up front. I highly recommend it for... Uh, uh, caster builds. Uh, Fang Dip Ash is a, a nice summon. I mean, they're not great, uh, but you start with one uh, other than the wolves. So if you're not into the wolves, you know, pick them up. Uh, crackpots are nice, but they just come out of a vendor that's down the road. So yeah, it's really not that great of a gift. Stone Sword Keys get you into uh, a little starting uh, major boss area. Uh, you don't need to be there when you first start unless you're just looking for some pain and anger. But, uh, you know, do your thing uh, but for me um man i hate taking i hate taking the golden seed but honestly i just you're gonna get so many stone sword keys it's not even gonna matter uh you're really gonna get so many golden seeds it's not gonna matter but early game it can help so uh we're gonna go ahead and take that and uh not too concerned about the appearance so let's go ahead and get in um for the let's play we'll be skipping all of the cutscenes. i'll be letting them play for the 100 percent walkthrough Uh, so I've noticed on the poll, pretty overwhelming. You guys actually prefer pre-recorded content, which is cool because that's uh, that's fine with me. I only wanted to stream if you guys were uh, interested in seeing the streaming. So uh, we may just stick with pre-recorded for now. I may end up streaming later, but uh, for right now, I think we'll stick with pre-recorded. And um, that just means that the extra night that I was uh, going to give up for streaming, I can use to make some more videos. So. Uh, starting with the whoop, almost ran right off there starting with the uh, samurai you actually have a pretty decent shot at taking down this boss i'm gonna be honest i usually just let him kill me and go on so uh it's been a minute since i've even tried i've killed him about three times uh, on different characters so i'd give it a shot why not i do like to rotate him in a circle so i'm gonna start over here Go ahead and hit him with a good strong one up front. Come on, put your shield down, bro. That was a bad choice. I'm lucky, lucky, lucky. Put the shield down. Oh, got stuck there. There we go. Ah, oh, put it right back up, didn't you? I'm having really bad timing on the arrows. We're not going to kill this guy. There's no way. Not with all the arrows I'm missing. Oh, 
Oh, I got lucky there. Got real, real lucky. I've only got nine fire arrows left, so I really need to hit with every one of them. And I really want to use the heavy shot every time I do that. I believe counted as a counter. That's why it did so much damage. He's up, bro. Stop coming at me so fast. I don't like it. I don't like it. Back up. Back up, back up. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to get this close and mess it up. No. Oh, it was so close, guys. It was so close. Anyway, that's how you beat him. You get the gist. Oh, it's not like I wanted the weapons anyway. I don't understand why you can actually skip a black screen. I always thought that was a loading screen, but it's not. It's just, uh, it's actually a black video with sound. All right, so we got our flask. That'll, uh, that'll help us out a little bit. The tutorial area is down there. Uh, really just, just no reason to do that. All right, let's go ahead and head on out. Uh, now this playthrough, you know, I'm gonna do a 100% walkthrough, so there's really no reason uh, for me to do, you know, just all, all the stuff, right, in a Let's Play. Uh, so really what this is gonna be is it's gonna be me focusing on the strength build that I wanna make and, uh, you know, how to get that going as, as quick as possible. But you guys already know this game and you know how open it is, so of course, this first episode, we're going to be grabbing all the stuff and getting all the uh, map open and, and heading for the flask upgrades and the wondrous physic and all that stuff. So that's just how I start uh, each and every time. And it's how I recommend everybody starts because there's no reason not to. Nope, I forgot. I don't have my horse. That's my uh, horse button combo. All right, let's go ahead and talk to... Vare here. Extinguish his dialogue. Oh, come to the lab. Of course, you I'm fought without guy. You and we're just gonna bang right Lucky. through it. Are you familiar? You may all start. Hmm. It will be even. If uh, we're not gonna take down the tree sentinel just yet. I can. Uh, he's got a really, he's got a really uh, readable move set. So, he's not tough. Um, I know a lot of people were raging over him when the when the game first came out, but. Uh, I am gonna I am gonna go pick up a few things before we take him out. Definitely want to get my steed, and um, that was a that was a lot of work there getting hung on that pixel for a ruin fragment. Um, want to go get my steed. Want to start opening the map. Uh, get a, a summon. Uh, summons will definitely help against him. So may as well when it doesn't take long to do so. Uh, this guy, we're going to be picking some stuff up from him real quick. Uh, no need to mark him, but typically when I come across um, vendors, what I'll do is I'll pop out up the map, and if I wasn't able to buy all the stuff I wanted, I'll put a little uh, treasure chest there, a jewel or something, uh, to let me know if I want to come back. All right, so uh, hit me up in the comments section, guys. I want to know, what do you think of, uh, what do you think of Elden Ring? I'm going to be honest... And starting out, I was worried uh, because it was open world and I'm not an open world gamer. I'm not. I like exactly what the Souls franchise has always offered. I like controllable environments where I can methodically work my way through. Um, this game, when it first came out, I was like, well, I'm not this is this is not a Souls game. And then the more I played it, the more I fell in love and uh Anyway, here I am. Just, just love this game. Love, love, love it. Surprise! Got 
pick it all up do it i'm banging on the y button what number y triangle all right let's go ahead and run over here we'll uh we'll grab our next grace and we'll go through and grab the map grab those early flowers i'm probably not going to do any uh multiplayer in this playthrough but you never know get some early flowers make some make some fur calling finger remedies a pretty good starter greatsword right in that chest there however we've got another one we're going to be going after I mean, of course y'all know, y'all know that I'm going after the OG greatsword. There's no way I'm not. Uh, anyway, we need to rest. It's time to get our steed. They say that you, I can play turning you to aid you, you and O to the foot. Then it's settled. So ah, I bequeath music to traverse great. And there we go. It will summon a torrent to treat him with. All right, so now we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and put it. No, stop. Go ahead and put it on my hot bar. Get rid of that. We're going to grab this map and then we're going to just uh, run back and go talk to Rani real quick. Actually, I'll take this guy out. And here's your first great sword right here. The Lord Sworn's great sword. Got the map. Let's head on back to the Church of Ella. Talk to Rani. Well, she calls herself Rena this time, but this is Rani. Tarnished. May I have a word? A yes, please. I don't stand upon the talk thou art to call forth. Ah, I was instructed by torrents. And there we go. We got our first summon. The spirit. Now it is that. Forgive, I doubt thee. How long will it be for the top? And off she goes. So let's go ahead and put that on the bar. And before we proceed on, I am going to go ahead and make this circuit over here. Back over to gate front. These guys, it's it's amazing how far their aggro ranges really are. There we go. Get our other lost grace. And gotcha. Every one of these, uh, well, every complete one of these flail right there, um, has a chest in it for you to get an item. So always remember that. Uh, we're headed to the spyglass. Actually, we're headed uh, slightly east of it. I will, I guess, interact with it. Why not? Uh, but uh, we're headed to the east of it to go get a NPC. And there he is hollering at us right there. And this just lets you see uh, like a bird's eye view. I think it's actually a very cool addition to the game. Um, I want to show it off in case anybody hasn't played this yet. So you get a really good, really good view of everything. Arteria, leaf, there we go. Uh, where's no nope, no nope, there he is I'm, I'm not that ugly am i oh oh there he is good grief what you go and do that for you 
And it's a demi human. A new race in this. This game. So he's gonna head off to the cave where they took his stuff. We're gonna we're gonna go help him. All right, get past this guy. It is night time, so we'll have a knight's cavalry up here. Uh, before we do that, though, I'd really like to get this guy. There we go. Uh, let's get the target lock off, please. Good grief. I like to just hit sprint every once in a while when this guy's chasing me because there is a uh, catch up jump attack that he'll do. That will catch you totally unaware. Giants coming. We'll, we'll kind of put them off for now. There's another dude with a horn. Don't want to get the guys with a horn, man. Got the flowers up in there. We're going to go ahead and run up here and grab that. I Oh. I hit the wrong button. Ah, uh, all right. We'll come back for that. We're we're just in a hurry. I was just going to grab it because I saw it. Uh, not a lot of super like, oh my gosh, you got to have this item items. You know what I mean? Like uh, there's weapons if you're after a certain weapon. Uh, rune arcs really good. Um, I mean, I say they're really good. I hardly ever use them, though. Hardly ever have an empowered rune on. And I guess that's kind of dumb, right? Because they're super useful. I feel like I have meandered from the road a bit too much. There's our next grace over there. That dude's probably going to see me. It's fine. Nope, didn't follow at all. All right. I'm going to go ahead and rest. Just in case he was going to come mess with me. And then up here, we've got an Everjail. Uh, we'll be coming back to this in a little while. And then over here. Uh, this actually leads off to the Weeping Peninsula, and I am going to go ahead and head that way. Uh, there are quite a few um, seeds and upgrades, but I just want to get past the bridge and get the first uh, grace. Then we've got a whole new path to go, but before we do that, we'll probably go and take out our... Uh... Make sure you juke there. Oh, get, get off the thing. Uh, excuse me. Woo! That was crazy. I got I got hung and then I got pinned in. That was great. Uh, here's a NPC. I'll Hello. go ahead and talk to her. Might I bend your ear? My name is a servant. I, but I swear, my good father decided to himself. I hear servants. Who since come, I fear it's me. Please, would you mind in my sole wish? Please. Thank we'll you. We'll deliver it. Please. We get a nice halberd uh, here later, actually. Well, not here, but uh, from this quest. Go ahead and make it through here. I am going to chug since I don't have any health. Lots of dogs just in case I get dismounted. Grab this guy. Get back here. Get mighty shot. That's what we already have on our bow, but we'll go ahead and grab it. Got our grace over here. There's a Knot's cavalry. We'll, we'll skip him for now. Go 
ahead and light that and uh, come over here and check him out. We won't be able to buy anything. Uh, but he does have a crack pot. He's got a stone sword key and he's got some starter smithing stones, which we'll probably be back to purchase. Um, but we're really after the cookbooks and everything first. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's all I was. That's all I was trying to do here. I am going to go back and grab this. Uh, go forward, I guess, and grab this uh, map piece. Just so I can go ahead and have the map. Now, there's going to be a guy who uh, attacks us from a distance over there, but we should be fine. There we go. And then we'll get the heck out of dodge because here come the arrows. Oh, still in combat with him. He does have... A Ooh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Knott's Cavalry. He does have... Uh, the archer has a very, very long range. Not interested in Knight's Cavalry right now. Okay, I don't have a boss bar. That means I'm out of uh, combat. I can't open the map. Uh, map can be a little buggy. Uh, but as you can see, we, we went ahead and opened the Weeping Peninsula. We're going to head over here. There's a church. Um, there's another church somewhere right over here, I believe. Um, and then, of course, there's an avatar at the Erd Tree for us to take down. Uh, but first, we're going we're gonna to head up over here and, and take care of all this area right here. Um, go ahead and get our uh, map piece. I am a big, big, big fan of just opening up the map. Um, I don't know why. It's it's probably because I am not an open world gamer, right? It's, uh, I want to I wanna know where I'm going. I, I don't know. I knew where I was going in other Souls games just because, you know, you were forced to learn it. And if you're not forced to learn it in this one and you have a map, then you become very reliant on the map. Run past uh, good old Knott's Cavalry again. I wonder if I can... Yep. And then here's the road. It's very hard to see. But once you've seen it a couple of times... Uh, you'll you'll be able to pick it out. It's gonna run past everybody. We're gonna we're gonna go meet a couple of NPCs, uh, grab some bonfires, uh, bonfires, uh, si uh, points of grace, souls of grace. Yes, I am still a Dark Souls guy. I will still call it bonfire. I will still call it souls. You guys are just gonna have to bear with me on that. It is what it is. All right, let's go ahead and grab this since we're here. I mean, you'll never use this one, but may as well grab it since we're here. Let's go meet a very pompous individual. I don't, uh, I don't care for this dude. Hello? Is anybody there? See, already, he's already pissing me off. In rescuing the great Kenny Fight. Yes, just preach to the air, dude. Just preach to the air. I want you to be my What my fault? Oh, I fret not to celebrate. He's gonna make us a knight, except you know, he doesn't have a kingdom anymore. We'll find out. What my fault? All right, that's good enough. And we've got another NPC to catch a little bit further down the road. Um, no, no, no. That's that's the high road. My bad. So, uh, for those of you that haven't played, this is... Uh, well, they're teardrop scarabs, but the red ones just drop healing uh, Flask of Crimson Tears. And the blue ones drop the uh, FP version, the Flask of Cerulean Tears. Um, the silver and gold and and all those colors those are the ones you're after because they actually drop items and we already have our flask of wondrous physic granted we only have a 50 percent heal but look at us started there's our first sacred tier that'll increase the amount that we uh heal so 
After this, we should be able to heal the fool with just one Estus. We want to talk to Melina here. Spoken of words of if you will. Very well, my lord. With thine we will well. Uh, yes. I, I knew there was something I wanted to add. I just had a... Had a, uh... Yeah, brain fart. There was something I wanted to do here. And we will go ahead, since we're here, and since once you do it, you, you have a, a grace, I am going to go ahead and pop through this portal over here. Oh, too sharp. This will take us over to Gronk. I really enjoy the change to, you know, quote unquote covenants, whatever you want to call them. Um, the way that you just, you know, pledge your service to somebody and then you go off and do a thing. It doesn't hold your hand uh, and it's much more, um, I guess, conducive to what you would think of a Souls game to be. I always thought that the... Uh, the covenants in the previous games uh were well they were super grindy first of all but they were uh hand holding they pretty much told you exactly what to do forgive me i fear me to deter if you had pity yes me yes indeed we've been tested I there is but i can take gathering place Very go nice. to the round table oh. My... oh man did i not get the did i not get the uh side of grace at the church i hope i did i think i did yes yes i did good 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 okay so talk to some people welcome to the i teach and explore so that one can sure in the way you do most time in you are well all right, so this guy's got your basic in incantations. You can bring him spell books, but I don't recommend it. I don't believe we've met. I'm known as he to those who all the more unless you wished. You've met go then own. I think the power of. I serve. Go ahead and ask about him. Those who live in death. Then their existence. So it is. And he has some more incantations. Just two of them. Uh, Orders blade, litany of proper death. Uh, as I said, don't give your books to these guys. Uh, there is a turtle bro later on that I'll introduce you to. Hello. I'm, well, the honor of one. By the way, she's my servant. Take your eyes off if you find her. Be sure she's a servant. To she's been my companion. Since I've lost count of them, honestly. Okay. Done there. There is a, uh, there's an NPC. Let's, let's go ahead and fight him. Why not? Oh, that doesn't do much at all, does it? Oh, okay, this is probably a bad idea with the unleveled katana. <laughs> we'll hold off on him for a little bit. He re he's really not that hard once you get uh, something that can uh, stagger him a little bit. Oh, all the way back here, huh? I uh, did have some stuff left to do at uh, round table hold. There is a shortcut for that, by the way. If you're on the map screen, triangle, square, and X will take you right back to round table hold. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go this way first. There's the edgelord. We got our vendor over here. This is the uh, twin maiden husk, and you can offer bell bearings from people you murder uh, or from the ones you find, you know. Whatever. I like to murder. Don't judge me. Uh, over here, you've got a uh, memory stone for more spell slots and stone keys. And later on, this is where we're going to buy all of our upgrade stones for the many, many items that I always try all the time. I level up so many items, so many weapons, it's ridiculous. Now let's go and talk to this dude. He's our blacksmith. 
Uh, we have the smithing stone. I just need uh, souls because I was dumb and jumped down there with the invader. Uh, he also disasters war and all that stuff. Go ahead and talk to him. Alright, there we go. We're going to go in here and get a health debuff. Greetings, great. I am Fee Circum. Great champ. Perhaps you're doing so. And you, do you think it's Olga? Where I come from? Ah. All right. So when you do this, uh, she takes a little chunk of your health and then uh, she gives you a blessing. And if you use it, it raises your poise. Um, yeah, I'll never use it, but this is part of her quest. You got to be held by her. So you got to come back and talk to her. She's going to tell you. Uh, speak to you privately and tell you stories in your ear. And that was the blessing we got. And if you want to change your appearance or anything, there's the mirror. Um, we don't. Do I have any sto stone sword keys? I pick any up yet? I did pick up one. I think the first door is only one down here. We'll go ahead and use it. Yep, just one. Uh, just some random items down here. Nothing, nothing super great, but you know, shinies. Creepus's black key crossbow and some black key bolts. And then in here, this one takes two. As you can see, uh, in the front of their face, you can see swords poking out. If they have one key in them, uh, they'll have one sword. And then you put the second one to open the door. Or they are uh, empty, and you do both. Uh, and that's it for this place right now. A little bit later on, we're going to have an NPC uh, up there. We're going to have, excuse me, I yawned a little bit. We're going to have an NPC show up by the fireplace. We'll go ahead and talk oh, to uh, Olnir. Alright. Done with him. That's it. Let's get out of here. Let's, uh, let's keep moving. Keep trucking. Uh, I am going to go over here and go ahead and grab this, and then we're going to go ahead and get Grace uh, a little bit further down. There's there's a lot to do here. We've got to we've got to be here at night so we can hear some howls. So we can do a quest line, and uh, you'll get a really good starter dex heavy weapon, the uh, Bloodhound's Fang. I guess it's more of a quality weapon, honestly. But it's a Bloodhound's Fang. It's got some bleed on it, but the weapon art, oh, it's so delicious. I. Love the weapon art of the Bloodhound's Fang. I don't know why, I just fell in love with it. There we go, head down the road. Get our map fragment. I realize not a lot is happening yet, guys. I realize that, but that's just kind of the way this game works. There is a, a lot to the start of a game. And then you actually get into it and start uh, start murdering people. These bears will mess you up. Be careful. <laughs> I mean, they will mess you up, especially that big one right there. Scratching that. But I want the item. I want the item. Here we go. Warriors Cookbook 4. And thanks for the free thin boat beast bones. I like arrows. Oh, cool. We heard the howl. Got the ground slam. And wait a minute. I can't open my map, so somebody's following us. There it is. That's what I was trying to see with the map. Uh, so when you see this sign, just head off the road. And there's a vendor here and some smoldering butterflies. I'm hungry. 
So he's got all your meats. Uh, not a lot of them, but he does have them. Um, you'll be using the uh, lump of flesh later to make uh, exalted flesh. Really good buff. And then he's got a couple of warrior cookbooks. So this guy, I'm actually going to mark. And I just like to go off to the side so I can still see his marker. Uh, and I guess we'll use that one. These guys. And then I'm going to run down here and grab a grease. Yes, yes, screamers. You're very, you're very much screamers. So obviously, if you've been watching me so far, you realize this is definitely not a blind let's play. Uh, I have played this game quite a few times. Um, I just, uh, I wasn't making videos. I don't know why I'm mounting, mounting up or leaving. Uh, I wasn't making videos, uh, you know, just because of what I had going on, but, um, you know, felt like I couldn't give 110%. And headed back to Gatefront. Um, but I have been playing the game in some of my downtime, so. I do have a really good overview. I can I can teach you how to, in the 100% walkthrough, I'll be able to teach you how to make sure you get um, all the quest lines, all the endings. You know, we'll, we'll of course get the platinum and all of that. Get off the thing, please. No. And here we go. First golden seed. Wolves drop down from the air. I don't know how that's possible, but they do. Come on, man. Anybody else? All right, we're good. Another stone sword key. Very nice. Very nice. How much? We're gonna talk to her. She's gonna give us an emo. Then a summon. Go, jellyfish ass is very, very tanky. Alright, done with her dialogue there. Go ahead and rest. I never did mix the wondrous physic. It's not like we have very many options, but I'll take the half HP. So it's like, you know, a free uh, healing flask. Uh, and then we're uh, we're gonna head off this direction. Um, we are wanting to get all the way over here uh, for our main starting weapon. Uh, while we're over there, uh, we are gonna go ahead and. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll explore from this side some. I do want to get all that map opened up. You gotta be careful with some of these roads like this. Very hard to uh, not see. Make sure I am on the right one. Yes, indeed. Should have. You know, the grace over here as well as a vendor uh, as well as later on we'll get invaded here and get a nice um, I believe this is where you get the bell bearing that gives you tiny beast bones uh, but this guy not seen you name's Bernard let me ask are you here in this your despite yes you takes me any interest all I know now's the tip uh, Bernal likes to say yeah, Ashes of War. He'll be here uh, until the invader shows up, and at which time this guy will just kind of be gone. Uh, Not floating your but he will uh, move on. Put it that way. 
we will run into him much much later in the game run right in here Those big shaggy dogs, they take uh, they take quite a bit more to kill. And we're going to hear him here in just a second. There he is. Can you hear me? Just wanted to trigger him. Hello? So if you were to just be riding by, of course, you would be like, hey, wait a minute. Got to find somebody. Let's have a oh, chat. I, at least. I, I just give my doll pop. Don't dally. Give it your all, I say. All right, so you're supposed to give charged attacks from the back. There we go. Let's have a chat. Ah, so that's <laughs> well, I. There we go. We get our first exalted flesh. We'll get to make that later. I, beyond this, I heard doesn't. <laughs> I'm Redman. I've heard. All right, we're good. Now he's going to meet us at a location way over here uh, where we fight uh, the boss of uh, Caleb. Another grace down here. We'll grab this. Got pumpkin head on the bridge. I might just take him out. I mean, he is, uh, second. Nope. Yep. He's limb grave. I was thinking, uh, split zone between here and Kayla. He might be a, a little tough. Do we not have the wolves? I mean, that's fine. You just, you just gonna bang your head. Come at me, bro. Okay, just stand there and die then. Wow, that has never happened. Never. Thanks for the sanctuary stone, bro. And the souls, I guess. I don't know why I pick up those golden rune ones. I guess at this level, they're not too bad. Um, but in general, they're pretty useless. take a peek oh, that was a quick peek that's where it is next point of grace and then we can go down here and get our first uh death route that we can go back and take to Ron. you know what uh let's go ahead and rest that way we spawn here or there may be a stake around but still All right, so the trick with this guy is he's going to teleport pretty early on, uh, but only after he summons some dudes. So I'll always try to uh, get one hit in. But anyway, we got to go find him now. Oh, didn't go far. Good. Oh, I really wanted to hit you before you got all your summons in. I don't think this ghost can be bled. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I was like, yeah, I don't care. You don't hurt that bad. And then, you know, skeleton comes out of nowhere. Go find him again.
Ooh, yeah, magic. And he will kill them. And if you'll take advantage of that and run over here, you can get free murders. So we'll leave the one alive. Uh, I don't know that that's the trigger, but it might be. And there we go. Not a, not a really tough boss. Not even almost. But, as I said, death root. And we get the skeletal militiamen actions. I know there is uh, a couple of decent items around here. Kind of speed through the area. I'm not going to spend too much time just grabbing items. Now that's really going to be for the 100% walkthrough. Um, and when I say 100% walkthrough, by the way, guys, um, I mean, we're going to get everything for the platinum and we're going to kill every boss in the game, including every mini boss. Uh, does that mean I'm going to pick up all of those mushrooms? No, uh, but I'm going to pick, pick up all the rune arcs. I'm going to pick up all of the uh, golden seeds and the um, you know, all the stuff that you would use for uh, Flask of Wondrous Physics. Alright, let's, uh, oh, yeah, I just voluntarily got back in combat. Let's take a look here. There we go. Uh, yep, we can go this way. There it is. Turtle Bros, don't mess with the Turtle Bros. And more turtle bros. They don't mess with you if you don't mess with them, so I really don't mess with them. They don't really drop anything all that great anyway. Turtle necks. And the green turtle talisman. So that's your um Florenty ring if you're uh a souls vet. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on because that's the only one I've got. So I think I'll get us over to the Great Sword, and that'll probably do it for this episode. And then in the next episode, I'm going to show you the first uh, soul farm of the game. Well, the first good soul farm of the game. Uh, I am going to show all of those off. Uh, I'm probably not going to farm. Um, because I feel like that takes a lot out of the game, but I'm at least show you once or twice how they, you know, how they work. Show you the ones that still work, I guess I should say, because they don't always all work. Oh, I did not rest. That was a bad decision. That was a very bad decision. Go ahead and top off here. Why not? I have the dizzy. Oh, bad, bad timing, bad timing, very bad timing. There we 
we go. We got the bleed. I don't think so. Oh no, I got greedy, guys. Y'all see that? Okay. All right. We got her this time. Yep, got greedy, thought, oh man, I can just, you know, stroll up on her, uh, let her do her roll and get another hit in. But uh, she, she got one over on me. I don't even know if I can summon uh, at that location. I was all like, I can't use my summon, but I honestly don't know if you can there or not. I should be using the weapon art uh, a lot more. Weapon arts in, in this game are really strong, and even something as simple as unsheath uh, still does a lot of damage and a lot of uh, poise damage or poise stagger, stagger buildup, whatever you want to call it. All right, come on back out. No? Okay. There she is. Go ahead and tag this. There we go. There she goes. Much, much better that time. Sacred Scorpion Charm. And then we're gonna run over here. Missionary Cookbook. No matter Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. And that is 14. So you can tell we're not uh we're not where we should be, right? Uh we're just over here at the Smoldering Church, the beginning of Caleb. Um This part opens up with Limgrave, and I don't understand that, but hey, it is what it is. And in the next map fragment, I believe is somewhere down here. And then there should be another one up here. Uh, but anyway, we'll stumble across them. I am going to go through the whole area anyway. Uh, we'll go ahead and go grab our weapon. I have a, I have enough souls to do some good. Um, so let's do that first. Then we'll go grab the weapon. I'm going to go back here and buy. Uh, there it is. I can't remember where the graces are until I have the map opened up. And that's why, that's why I like to open the map up. This is, this, this is not where I wanted to go. Not even almost. And give me a stuff. And I can also see that you're not red wine. I am Khan. Take all your cracked pots, gonna take your crafting kit, your books. Uh yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Goodbye. Go over here. Let's start working that strength up. May as well. and back to the smoldering church we're gonna go grab our weapon real quick and then we're gonna call the episode i'm gonna let these first few run a little long and the reason i'm doing that is because of how much there is to do in the beginning to get going all right we're headed off that direction i like to put waypoints every once in a while just to kind of keep me on on target Lightning grease there. Another side of grease over here. Lots of birds. Watch the birds, especially at our level. You're you're tagging along. I highly recommend you do not go down there. I I will grab this first. Little nascent butterfly. I think there's only so many of those in the game. I don't know. 
I have been doing uh, quite a lot of research, getting prepared for the 100% walkthrough, and by the time I'm done with this Let's Play, I'm going to have all the info I need, trust me. Uh, I've already got all of the quest signs down and all that where uh, I know I don't miss out. I'd like to chase you another direction. No, no, okay, okay, get out. Oh, oh that was a bad choice. We're not actually after that teardrop scarab, and I'll come take care of him later. Um, I'm hoping the stake is close. Hope I didn't make us make a mistake there. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Actually, actually. Wonder how they like fire. Um, it's not gonna be enough. Two of them's not gonna be enough. I am out of arrows. Mm, what a shame. All right. It's not like we have a lot of souls, so I don't care if I lose them. But we're going right here. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Oh, and I didn't get it before he hit me, so I didn't get any eye frames. Got it. Great sword. Woo. I don't know. I don't know how he knocked me off of that without me getting the, uh, the eye frames. Uh, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where we spawn now because we got our weapon. Uh, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. In the next episode, I'm going to show you the, uh, the first, uh, good soul farm. Uh, I'm going to pop it like twice just to get enough stats to, uh, really wield the, the great sword and then uh you know just show you the basically you have to do it twice because you do it the first time and then if you want to duplicate it then you have to do it a certain way and for me to show you that you know dude's gonna be there second time so uh anyway guys that's gonna do it for this episode uh like i said next episode we're gonna go off uh grab a little chunk of souls level up get the uh great sword on and then we're going to go around and start, uh, you know, just whipping the tar out of stuff. So, uh, guys, uh, till the next video, thanks for watching.